As God's children, therefore heirs, we are not in pursuit of God's spiritual blessings. We already have them stored up in case we need them. It's by prayer we make requests to draw upon these blessings anytime our circumstances reveal a need. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we find in Ephesians 1 verse 3 that we as believers have already been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. What are these spiritual blessings? Verses 4 through 14 explain. Verse 4 through 5, God loved us enough to choose us before he even created the world to be adopted children in his family, to be holy and set apart for his purposes. Verse 6, he blessed us with his grace, which Matthew Henry calls the beginning of glory. Verse 7, we are blessed with redemption through the blood of Jesus. We were bought with a price. We've been blessed with forgiveness of our sins, thanks to God's gracious favor. Verse 8, blessed with wisdom and understanding. Verse 10, blessed with knowing the mystery of God's will, how he united Jews and Gentiles together in Christ. Verse 11, we are blessed with spiritual inheritance of heaven. It's a gift from Father God to his children. Therefore, we are heirs. We are just awaiting our full redemption while enjoying a small part of this inheritance now here on earth, much like a miner who is set to inherit the full estate when he or she begin, becomes of age. We have a present right to this inheritance. We even have actual possession of it through Christ. Verse 13 through 14, we are blessed with the word of truth, God's word. Salvation or receipt of guarantees of our inheritance of the Holy Spirit. Because of these spiritual blessings, Paul prays not that we as believers will never have persecution or pray for us to have earthly riches, honors, or pleasures, but he prays God will give us wisdom and revelation of an intimate knowledge of God, verse 17, whereby verse 18, he prays that the eyes of our heart will be flooded with light so that we will know and understand the hope to which God has called us and how rich his glorious inheritance really is. Verse 19, so that we can know the immeasurable, unlimited, surpassing greatness of God's power for us who believe. Verse 20 is demonstrated through the resurrecting Jesus from the dead and seating him at the right hand of, of the Father in heavenly places. Verse 21, not only now, but in the age and world to come. Words of encouragement. God has already blessed us believers with everything we need to live according to his will on earth as we await our eternal inheritance in heaven. We don't have to beg or plead with him. It's like having money in the bank. We have it just... Uh, all we have to do is ask and we can draw it out and whatever spiritual blessing we need for that particular situation that we find ourselves in. If it is a demonstration of, of God's power in the form of healing or deliverance, just draw it out. If it's wisdom or understanding we need, just ask and keep on asking. It is ours to receive. If unsure what is available in our account, 1 Corinthians 2.12 says, Holy Spirit helps us know the things that are freely given to us of God. Have a great day.